Hi guys, welcome to this video. Let's get started. So yeah, this video will be having two parts. In first part, I will be talking about my complete programming setup that will include the editor I use, extensions I use, and like some workflow techniques I use, which helps in speedifying things during a live contest. In the second part, I will be talking about my complete programming setup not set up actually my computer programming template yeah and so that would be basically that have like bunch of macros and uh, I, I will try to explain like what macros does and sort of like what uh, like why I, I use basically i try to use as few as possible but yeah the ones i have currently like what is the reason behind then i will try to explain that okay so let's get started so yeah the first of all the editor i use for complete programming is vs code i think it is one of the most popular choices and yeah personally also i really like this editor and uh, yeah so theme wise sometimes i use dark sometimes i use light depending on the sort of like time of the day and like probably the mood also but yeah, in this video, I will explain using the light theme only because the other things are in the light so that, yeah, I mean, the visual experience remains uniform throughout the video. Okay, so first of all, the most important thing is there is this extension, which is like very popular amongst the competitive programmers. It is called competitive programming helper. This is a, like a must have extension for if, if you are a regular competitive programmer but this does it let me directly show by an example only okay so this is a code forces problem and basically you open the problem you read it and then you have now got the idea so now you want to sort of uh, like start writing code for it but we'll do it currently we have just two files open code.zpp and input.txt okay so what we'll do it we'll click on this for this button also you will have to download like one more chrome extension along with the vs code extension which i just showed when we click on on this button it automatically creates a file here okay that's one benefit it helps you in sort of managing your codes in your local better and the second thing is you can see right my template like which is a default starting code is already here so i can just strike directly start adding the code so it, that is pretty useful but yeah most useful thing is that when it creates the file it also parses the test cases which are given and it makes local test cases so let's say after i'm done let's say i'm reading this and then I'm doing this and then let's say I did this. So I can just use control LP and it will directly run the test cases and it will tell you, okay, test cases are failed so that you can just directly compare test cases from right here. And for some of the, and it supports a lot of judges, I think. Yeah, it supports code forces, code shift, top coder, lot of such stuff. It supports add coder also. So yeah, most of the like the mainstream just it supports, and it have an option of adding new test case also. If if you want to try some like your own test cases, then you can do it from here. Okay. Let's say if we have one. Okay, just to show you when test cases passes, how does it look like? Okay, if we do this now, it will show both are passed. So if when test case passes, it, it collapses them. Cool. Yeah, those are the benefit of this extension. <coughs>
and the second one would be it's not that popular or, or it, it's not really uh, sort of comparative pronoun specific but yeah i personally use it for for like sort of uh, some kind of like local runs which you can download which you can install in vs code so like basically i have set it up like this if i use a different sort of code then this will do like this yeah so for my case difference between this and the other run is like when i'm compiling using you using this code runner i have enabled all sort of warnings like you can see right n is a integer it's giving me all sort of warnings so yeah i turn on all the warning flex during this which is useful for like debugging it and like some sort of it shows stuff like this also let's say i have this then it will tell me okay t is unused which is which comes from this flag all right yeah coordinate is this this is done okay yeah one more interesting thing is that you can have like you can set up your vs code to have lot of sort of like pre-made snippets then the reason is you will be using like yeah so the usefulness is you will obviously be using like for example um if you do this this is my template i will have this and let's say i want to use like lazy segmentary right then i just do this and and my code will come up here so i mean this is like kind of a, a sort of a convenient thing otherwise you can store these things in different files in your local system or you can use things like github also uh, which can be useful for for like such stuff but yeah as you can see like this is like much more convenient also in vs code like sort vs code snippet you can basically like when you bring a snippet you can set up your curve where would your cursor would be in your snippet i think you have to add a dollar sign and a zero so if that is present here it will come up here okay and yeah one related to snippet one more useful thing to show would be this website snippet generator this like you can put any code here and it will it can generate like sort of a snippet format and after that you can just directly go to your snippet file and then you can just paste the code there all right yeah i think all of these things are done let's get to the second part okay so the second part is this this is my c++ template and yeah so template is nothing basically this is like a starting default code i will start writing every code from here so you can say like this is the template which is just 30 lines yeah i, I try to keep it keep keep it as minimum as possible and yeah ideally like if you are just starting with computer programming you shouldn't get into these things you should just start from uh, like without these with time if, if you think you're uh, sort of becoming better and you understand macros better or or like if you want to use them now then that's fine but yeah many top coders like like many literal top coders don't use any template so definitely th this is not a must uh, like when i started like after some like in the beginning days i also used to have like 70 80 lines so with time i have been reducing this a lot and lot lot Okay, so I mainly have these things which I use quite often. 
these are for like loops and these are for printing which must be must seem obvious and this all is for uh, so like in lot of c++ standard stl library function you will have these you will need to do this beginning of the container and the end of the container so for that kind of thing this is useful and then size this is mostly basically when we do a, a dot size right it gives us unsigned integer so this is to avoid like problems with that because if you have unsigned integer and you do minus one which you often do when you're writing code that can be a problem if the unsigned integer is zero okay yeah this is probably the most important most like useful part of the this thing now uh, of the template which is like okay so if you have defined this while compiling then it will come out to be this so how we let me show by some example okay a 10 b 5 c 11 so if if i have so i have defined this as you can see from my command i have defined this here so like when i'm running this if i have this i'll get this kind of output so yeah the, so when i have defined this i'll get this part and when i have not defined this it will just turn to 42 42 is nothing basically it just like kind of a uh, like way of discarding but yeah i mean for 40 42 you all know the joke okay so these are like sort of a um, if you don't understand it it is fine this is basically using like variadic arguments so that like the number of arguments is not fixed i can just do with two arguments still it will print the same thing i can just go with the one argument still will print the same thing and yeah some coders also one more thing because of this flag we have defined right uh, like i was showing yes so because of flag we have defined right so but if if i run it in the using the cph then you won't see anything because when i compile this file using the cph i have not defined this flag all right yeah but this is also like instead of this what many people use is that they will just replace this by some include include file and like they will have their code in that file so sort of this this file will look even uh, like cleaner but yeah personally uh, i don't mind five six lines and it, it makes it a little bit easier to run on like online sort of platform or or a different place like this file becomes like self-contained so i personally use this yeah i think uh, we are mostly done let me see yeah also one yeah one more thing was that instead of using this right some people also use cl for printing errors but yeah depending on the judge you are using that can also cause some problems also the main benefit of this is that if you have this debug line right so like when you're writing a very complex code you will have 10 debug lines so every time you're submitting it to the judge you don't have to like uncomment those lines that is the sort of like main benefit you can just run it in your local you will see debug lines and then you can just directly submit it to the judge and like you will be fine okay i think we are done and a sort of i have been planning to like make a video for like uh, 
how to like do practice in competitive programming how to improve in competitive programming but yeah so i have my in progress note for that but yeah I, i'm basically sort of like thinking of like uh, uh what is the best way to describe and like what are the different kind of questions i should cover in that i already have a list of stuff but yes hopefully i will get to it soon thank you for watching if you found this useful please subscribe to the channel that encourages me to make more such educational videos okay